time for us to get a visit from one of our favorite directors yep. of all time. Of course, I'm referring to James Cameron. Now, he's been on the list once before. He's on it again. This might not also be his last appearance. We'll no. find out. This is number 53 in our greatest 100 films of all time. It's Avatar from 2009. It's all over. Nothing's over while I'm breathing. I kind of hoped you'd say that. We sat down for this movie together because I had just moved to Vancouver. Right. I was stroking my invisible chin beard. I didn't think this would work at all. I know. Holy crap, did I, it work. I know. It was incredible. And I think that it's pretty easy to be cynical about it because, yes, the story is a lift on the whole Pocahontas fairy tale. And it doesn't really stretch as deep and as engrossing maybe as everybody wants it to be. But visually, we had never visited an alien world like this before. <laughs> And there is a certain amount of cheese Absolutely. on display the here. The guy but jumps out of the giant mech with a knife. And usually cheese will just send me fleeing from a theater. But here, I was so engrossed in the characters. Yes. I was so engrossed in the love story. I was so just transported and the to this fictional universe. And you're right. This was really an entire world that yes. Cameron realized. I really hope this tree hugger crap isn't on the final. James Cameron got it. And they he built a world. I mean, right. all of the ferns and stuff that we see behind us, they didn't have any of that. They all didn't, that. They didn't shoot in real forest. They built all the plants as CG. They built them. And they walked through all of this weird foliage. That's crazy. What and, a weird I mean, job. Incredible, right? You know what? This isn't the first time we have mentioned no. Avatar on the show. It's been on the show before. Take a look at this. This is the reason Blu-ray exists, yeah. is for this kind this of This is the benchmark. Treatment. You get three versions sure. of the movie, the new version that was released in theaters with eight extra minutes, and you get an even longer version with 16 extra minutes yeah. that includes everything that has the longer version and more stuff. Yep. You get two additional discs with the most in-depth, well-produced, high-definition, behind-the-scenes of stuff. of extra behind-the-scenes. And, and the cool thing about that behind-the-scenes disc is that it takes you literally from initial concepts, from that 80-page treatment that yep. he wrote, God, nine years ago or whenever, all the way through to the premieres that they did and, and showing premiere footage. And they take you through the process of how they really made two films. They had all the actors yeah. do the motion capture and they had them in training and learning the language. And then, and then they had the whole animation process, which was like in a whole other film. And they really take you everywhere you want to yeah. go in this movie, beyond this movie, behind this movie, underneath it. It's incredible. You can watch scenes with the performance capture footage, the reference footage, picture in picture. You get so tons so of unfinished shots, 45 minutes of shots that aren't even finished. Yeah. I mean, this is as deep a look at this film as any I've ever seen on Blu-ray. You know, yeah. a lot of people talk about how movies are moving to the digital distribution media, the you know, Netflix streaming kind of stuff. This is a complete justification for Absolutely. why Blu-ray should exist. Between doing the sound, doing the music, doing the visual effects, working with all the different teams that work on the finish. It was unbelievable. Say what you will about digital distribution, we still like to have collector's toys on our shelves. We still like to have that first edition of our favorite comic book. We still like to have those physical artifacts. It's something you can touch, it's something tangible. Yeah. And I think that this Blu-ray is such a pleasure for all the senses, this package is. And I agree, I think this is one of those reasons why I think Blu-ray won't be obsolete in two years. For me, this is the best Blu-ray of the year. Oh, for Hands sure. Down. And and probably the best Blu-ray package I've ever seen. Yeah. Thanks. I'm getting all emotional. Might just give you a big wet kiss. So it might not be quite Star Wars or Blade Runner caliber, but this is an unforgettable science fiction journey. We love you, Avatar. Congratulations, number 53. Is it time to go? Let's hop onto our birds and get out of here, my oh, friend. All right. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!